answer a question I get from my beginning students quite a bit. Um, they'll ask me, how come when I'm playing the same groove that you are, it doesn't sound as good? And I explain that it really has to do with the accented versus unaccented notes uh, that you play, but m even more specifically, those notes on the hi-hat. And the hi-hat really is very important, especially when you're talking about rock grooves. So uh, let me give you a little demonstration of what I'm talking about. I'm going to play a really simple rock beat between the bass drum and snare, and the only thing I'm going to change is the hi-hat, and you'll see what I mean about how much influence the hi-hat has on a groove. Here we go. versus unaccented notes I talked about is really what helps those beats groove. Um, and when we're talking about hi-hat specifically, we're talking about accented notes that we play with the shoulder as compared to the tip. So I could play a simple rock groove like this with no accented or unaccented notes and just keep all of them the same and it would sound like this. Which doesn't sound bad, but personally I think if I put a shoulder accent on all the downbeats and play all the upbeats or the ands with the tip, I think it grooves more. Let me show you. The, uh, the other big one that it really makes a difference in is any kind of a funk groove or reggae. Um, so let me show you that. Without any accents. With accents and unaccented notes. So another way that we use accented notes is with the snare, having a rim chop or a regular tap. And uh, that also in rock and funk is uh, very important. So let me show you a beat with no difference between the accents and unaccented notes. That would sound like this. And now with only two and four accented and all the other notes unaccented. Drum lessons in the Bay Area, you can find me at my website, scottrenobryan.com.